Hey everybody, and if you are new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and always remember to watch our videos every time we upload. Every week we give you a lesson in chicken farming and every week we give you a success story. You can learn from others and you can see what they are doing. Today, I teach you on how you can do chicken brooding with zero mortalities or zero deaths. I'll be very brief, I'll be very straight to the point. Before you get your chicks to the farm, the most important thing, first you need to be prepared. You need to have the drinkers, the correct number of drinkers, you need to have the correct number of feeders, and most importantly, you need to have the material that you'll use to make the brooder. And an example is this, we call it three-ply. So before getting your chicks to the farm, then construct the brooder, ensure that the brooder is 75 centimeters, at least 75 centimeters, and at most one meter from the ground. Let's say your brooder is around 30 centimeters from the ground. You should lift it at least to 30 centimeters, sorry, to 75 centimeters from the ground. When you do your brooder at 75 centimeters, it simply means that you are going to use less energy for heating the, the brooder. When you're using a jiko and charcoal to heat the brooder, it means that when you have a jiko at the center of the brooder, most of the heat will be retained. So you as a farmer, you will save much in terms of heating, in terms of buying charcoal. The other important thing is, you as a farmer, you will save much because you'll have less mortalities because there's enough heat circulation in the brooder. So it's very important also that when you bring the chicks again, the chicks will not come and stay on the floor. I'm happy that my host today is, is using wood shavings and not sawdust. It is very important that when you're doing brooding, you use wood shavings. When the chicks come, you first spread wood shavings on the floor, like you have done. Very correct. And then the other secret is you bring carton boxes and you spread on top of the wood shavings. All right? So that when the chicks sit in the brooder, they don't come in direct contact with the wood shavings. You know, even this wood shavings has got some fine particles of sawdust. So the chicks will eat the sawdust and then they'll have something called blotting, indigestion. Very easy. If I go into the details, you know, this, is, this comes from the, from the trees. The trees have got something called xylem tissue. Xylem tissue can only be broken down by animals that are polygastric. But chicken is monogastric, has got only one stomach. Anyway, let's avoid those many, many details. Let's make it simpler for the farmers to understand. <laughs> now, very important. You have the chick brooder is up, 75 centimeters. Meters. You have your jiko, it's at the center. You have put your wood shaving, you have put on top a carton box. What next? You have enough drinkers. Very important, when you're doing brooding, you use baby drinkers. You see, you're using the drinkers, and these drinkers, just an example of this drinker, this is not a baby drinker. This is a drinker for mature chicken. So you'll find that if you look at some of your chicks, let me just look for a chick here, like this one. You can see it's drying down here. It means most of the time the chicks are getting soaked when they're drinking. So when they get soaked when they're drinking and it's at night, the chicken gets pneumonia. So by those small drinkers, I don't know if you know them, they're a bit shallow so that the chick can just drink and in case it jumps in and plays with the water, it doesn't get get it soaked. So you get the correct drinkers for the chicks. I'm very happy what she's doing. She has got the right feeders for the chicks. The chicks cannot mix their poop and the feed. That one I give you a thumbs up. <laughs> correct goodos. So get the right feeders. And this is the correct feeder for chicks. You can see. So here you score for the drinkers 
you miss a score. So you get the correct drinkers, get the correct feeders. Another very important thing is when you have your chicks now, you've given them the right feeders, the right drinkers. How do you give them water? Chicks, you don't just, you don't just get water, put in the drinker, and give the chicks. Let me say you have mixed your vitamins, you've given the chicks. Liquid paraffin. Uh -huh, correct. Uh, I, need, I, I do mix water, uh -huh. uh, vitamin, mm -hmm. and then when I put the jerrycan, uh -huh. I put the liquid paraffin. Correct. Mm -hmm. She has told you, you have heard it from the farmer herself. She will mix water with the vitamins, then put in the drinker, bring the drinker in the brooder, mm -hmm. then take liquid paraffin and spread yeah. on the on the drinker sides. Don't mix water and the vitamins and also add the liquid paraffin. When you turn the drinker upside down, the liquid paraffin will float. Correct. This is a very experienced farmer. You are getting it from her. You told me that in this brooder you got zero mortalities. Is it? You see? So that's how things are done. And you're very lucky because you didn't have the, the carton boxes. Yeah. So you survived, <laughs> but it. try to introduce the carton boxes. Yeah, I will do it next time. Good. Yeah. Another important thing is lighting. You can see the kind of bulbs she's using. Yeah. You can see where the bulbs are. The bulbs should be low enough mm. and give enough lighting. Don't use too bright bulbs. Like in your case, I, s I see your bulbs are very bright. Mm -hmm. You're spending much on power. And also, it can bring a blinding effect mm. to the buds. Okay. So try to use some LEDs, some blue light, dull light, okay. that can make the chicken mm. relax and be active. I'm really happy with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you give the chicken the correct vaccines, when you give the chicken the correct uh, water, when you give the chicken the correct feeders, when you have the correct height of the brooder, when you have the enough heating, you will never go wrong. Remember, when you lose a chick, you are losing 322 eggs. Yes. You see? Mm. Most of the time when you lose a chick, you will just have that mentality of, I have 300 chicks. So the feed you'll be giving, you'll be giving for 300 chicks. Mm. Water for 300 chicks. Yeah. But you lost two. It's 298. Mm. So you're losing. So try to factor in that. I'm very pleased to, with my host today. I've got very few to correct. And she's just happy. She's on the league. <laughs> Kindly. Remember to subscribe to her YouTube channel also. She's a gospel, an upcoming gospel artist. Give her the support. You can also learn more from her. Mm. And she's very open, very free, very supportive. Just to empower you. Mostly youth and women. Remember, remember, you can do brooding as a business. Yeah. You can do brooding as a business. Okay. You can just buy chicks from the hatchery, mm -hmm. brood them. When they're almost laying, you sell. Mm -hmm. And you make your money. Yes. As simple as that. So this video is very, very important for the startups. Those are looking for something to do. Remember to subscribe to YouTube channel and learn more.